Hey guys, here in the studio we have a returning guest. We always like to we like to do we did this with the lot of doom the last for about three years in a row here. Uh, we 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 like to get them while they're young. That sounds weird mm-hmm. and dirty, but uh, uh, we had a year ago uh, this uh, wonderful lady on. Uh, probably, probably about a match into her career, and she has done so much in her rookie year. Um, I can't imagine somebody coming out of Pittsburgh that's had a better one. Britt Baker, back in the studio. <laughs> okay. And among the things, uh, I actually gave you a good camera shot this time. <laughs> oh, good, good. <laughs> I don't know if you ever looked at your interview before, but you I don't know. I was tired that night. I had a lot going on. Your shot was like all kinds of crooked <laughs> and stuff. You're forgiven. It's okay. It was all you. <laughs> But uh, but welcome back. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So, like I said, it, it, it's been a year since uh, since uh, you debuted in the IWC. Uh, I think well, well, longer than that since you were you were the backstage announcer. I was. For a the bit. Inter- I was the interviewer. You were the interviewer oh, for God. a bit. That seemed so long ago. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was. I was backstage interviewer. They got jumped by Ray Lynn. <laughs> and now she's out the door. So so let's see how that worked out. Yeah. Right. Bye. <laughs> I hope she's watching. Bye. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, but anyways, so like I said, you, you, let's, let's talk about that a little bit. Again, of course, IWC is your home promotion. You came right. up, you, you trained with them and everything. Um, and you've had a, 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 a you know a, a lot of great matches with that. I've, I've seen you and Raylan even on uh, Global Force, uh, of yes. course, and, and going around for that. Can you talk about your experience, um, one, working with Raylan for so long? Mm-hmm. Um and uh and, and kind of working around IWC and and really kind of being the cornerstone of the women's division that there was none for the longest time. You're right, there wasn't any. But um, as far as Ray Lynn goes, it's to the point now when, like, when we are talking matches and stuff, we have our own lingo. We'll be like the thing, and then the thing, and then yeah, yeah, yeah that okay. And it's 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 hilarious because when we when I first met her, I was ter- I was I had my first match. I think I did what two moves in that tag match total, and I was blown up even walking to the ring. I was shaking nervous. I was like, I forget everything. They're like, Brett, you have two moves. Shut up. And they're 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 talking to me the whole time. CJ's talking to me the whole time. It was absolutely terrified. And now and then like what a year later. Raylan and I were wrestling in Global Force, putting together like actually kind of decent matches. So, mm-hmm. um, I, I think I, I'm. I feel like I was lucky to kind of have someone that I could keep, you know, traveling with, having matches with. Because we we did some like smaller shows on the road too. She was she took me with her, and it was good to get some reps in. Someone I was comfortable with, someone I knew was safe, wasn't gonna drop me on my head, mm-hmm. wasn't gonna drop her in her head. Because she's a, she was fairly experienced going in. I know she I think trained down in OVW. I think when we talked with her, so so she. Right, yeah, she she did OVW, and then um, just recently too, she went. She trained uh, tr- the House of Truth, and broke her hand. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> thanks a lot, Truth Martini. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah, so she's no, she's back in action now. She's she's recovered, on her way to California mm-hmm. to live with Dylan happily ever after. <laughs> and now she gets to do the Lex Luger uh, steal. In the oh, I thing. know, right? You know, uh, that, that that was a great one. That was a great one when they pulled that up. I'm like, it's Lex Luger. What I know she's the narcissist. What's going on? <laughs> and they put her X-ray up on the on the screen. It, it's like, what is this? <laughs> That's a plumber move. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, so uh, from that, you say you've been around a bit, and uh, uh, I, w- I was surprised. One, I was, I was happy to see you were on the poster when I, I go out to my, my yearly sabbatical to the Gathering of the Juggalos. Um, and uh, you were part of the Girl Fight show out there. Uh, tell me, because I know, I think we were messaging a little bit on Facebook because you were, you were like trying to figure out where to go and everything like that. Okay, so. And, and, and the, ga- the Gathering <laughs> is, the, ga- the Gathering no, is that, an that's experience. What, that's what I'm going to say yeah. here. So. <laughs> I I I had an idea what the gathering of the jugglers was. Mm-hmm. I would say I was highly underinformed though before I got there. I um you know great people. Great. Mm-hmm. I don't think I would go alone next time. <laughs> Not <laughs> just because I so like I get there and I pull up in this field and they're like you can park here 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 or here. You might get blocked in and be stuck here for like 
48 hours, but you might not. And I'm like, okay, great. And you, and you had IWC. I had, I had to get, leave immediately after the match because there was a battle royal at the end. I couldn't even stay for that. I had to leave immediately and go to IWC and shower because it was 8 million degrees outside. That it was an outside show. Yeah, it was rough. But um, They gave away free hot dogs during that. I don't know. Like I, I, I don't know. I think because they had their big show at like midnight the night before. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this was at which like, went to like what three a.m. Yeah, it went to like three a.m. Yeah. Um. Thankfully, Nisley is the year that that the main event uh, of Tommy Dreamer was when the sun came up a, a couple years before. Uh. So I think they were just like, yeah, we'll have free food, and they're giving everybody hot dogs out there. <laughs> yeah. They uh, they wheeled a, a giant like industrial fan in the back, like in the tent where the lo- the locker room was, and it mm-hmm. was it was like the best thing in the world this fan we all just stood there in front of this fan because it, it was so hot that was brutal but it was fun it was a good time right it was it was an experience mm-hmm. i would definitely say it's awesome um and also also you know that's it's a it's a rough fan base you know to be right. in front of right and and i, I was always worried because they always label like it, it, this is the first year they did it under the girl fight banner mm-hmm. they always label it as like the exotic women of wrestling and stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, in the first year I saw that in the program, I'm like, they're completely just going to have a bunch of strippers come out here right. and do stuff in the ring. And I was so happy to see it was like Crazy Mary Dobson. Right. And, and, Which you know, I love her. People like that. I, wasn't that the one that you posted a couple weeks ago that said, hey, attention, dream match coming up? Well, um, I might have. I, I've been having a lot of dream matches lately. Actually, within the past, like, probably two months, mm-hmm. I had you know, Candice Soray with, um, Crazy Mary, Allison K, or Sienna. So I, those dream matches have just been rolling in left and right. So I've been been super lucky and fortunate. But um, it, as far as – oh, girl fight over at the uh, Gathering of the Juggalos. Yeah, I was scared because people were telling me there's these stories. They're like, oh, they're going to hate you. They're like, mm-hmm. you're not weird enough. They're going to throw batteries at <laughs> you're you. You're not weird and enough. And I'm like, what do you mean they're going to throw batteries at me? Like, why? And they're like, because you're just not weird. And I was like, why? I want to be weird. What do I do? I don't want these batteries coming at me. <laughs> but, um, it was fine, though. The, the crowd was fun. Mm-hmm. It was just so hot. Mm-hmm. And that's all I remember is it was hot. and But, you know, it was fun. It was a good time. Like I said, good experience. Let's, th- let's talk a little bit more about the, uh, these interesting moments because it feels like um, oh. every, every weekend I end up seeing something on, on, on an Instagram or, or, or some promotion site of, uh, you mentioned Allison K who I believe you had a beer with during the oh, match. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we went, we went way rogue that match. So we probably brawled outside the ring for like, I don't, what seemed like 10 minutes, but I'm sure it wasn't. But, um, <laughs> she, so she is so fun and so witty and so creative and I love her. That was one of my favorite people to work with ever. She... We go over to the concession stand, and she grabs two beers. She's like, "We need a break." So we're sitting in these chairs. We take a we take a drink, then we're exchanging shots back and forth again. Take another drink. Um, yeah, Pedro got. I think Pedro ended up bleeding that match. What? Yeah, I, he he was. Hey, for those who don't know, Pedro's the announcer. Pedro is the announcer. Yeah. he's he's the best announcer in the world. I love Pedro, but um, Pedro got involved. He started bleeding, and then at the end, you know, she she gave a little you know a little uh put put me over speech to Britt baker and then hit me with a stunner i took the stunner but i didn't spill my beer so you know <laughs> priorities but that was that was a really fun match that was at um that was girls the last girls night out show mm-hmm. i think yeah with aiw awesome uh, uh from that and, and and so speaking of aiw um this picture came up just today and i was like i have to ask about this one uh, if I find the right button, this guy right here. <laughs> so those don't know. Okay, set this up for our audio listeners. Uh, oh, I didn't even know Sanjay Dutt in the background. I know. Look at another. <laughs> so um, this is this is Swoggle, Horn Swoggle, four minutes Horn Swoggle with WWE, and um, one of my fav- personal favorite workers in the back is uh, Dick Justice. I mm-hmm. love him. I think he's absolutely hilarious. I think he's money. Um, so what was happening here is this was mid match with Swoggle versus Tracy Smothers. So they were wrestling, but then, you know, this obviously led to a dance off because why not? Because we're at AIW and there's Tracy Smothers wrestling a midget with Dick Justice as the ref. So why wouldn't we have a dance off? Because 
then you that's, know that's how they do right that's how they do in cleveland and and he just swa- i was outside the ring we're outside the ring banging on the on the mat you know and then swaggle was like get in the ring with me and i'm like okay and he's he's like we go the one corner and he's like spin me i spin him we go the other corner he's like dip me and i'm like okay man the, you're you got it <laughs> so you're calling dance moves <laughs> like you're calling a wrestling match no, I, he was yeah it was uh, it was that was an experience, and that that picture came up, and I, I laughed so hard because that is just uh, everything AIW is in that. All you need to add to that picture is like Space Monkey, Super Kicking, <laughs> like Ray Row or something. And, oh, wow! <laughs> and uh, then that picture's complete. Trey, Trey's telling me that that match stole the show at Girls' Night Out. Oh, <laughs> thank you. By the way um so we have a couple people checking out so please if you have any questions uh while we're rolling here uh please let us know we are keeping an eye out on the uh facebook uh live here uh on the wrestling mayhem show facebook page but um awesome so i have to get to again that weekend of the gathering was interesting because it seemed like you were everywhere of course you were at the gathering you had iwc that night which was what was that night that was wipeout i think i don't i think think that was was something yeah it was the it was the one i didn't make um i guess there's been a lot of those lately but uh but then i i I go i get back and i'm going i'm in my nosebleeds at raw as i do because that's what i do at raw um and uh and and this nia Jax has her first match on raw and i'm watching and i'm like wait a minute somebody seems familiar down there a mile away down there in the ring (laughs) and if it wasn't for the fact that i saw like your gear, like just two days before, it was new. I wouldn't yeah. have known. Yeah, because it was new gear. Yep. I wouldn't have known that it was you. Mm-hmm. And they definitely couldn't give you a different name because <laughs> well, it was on your tights. I know, and I had other gear too. And they're like, "Nope, wear that gear." And I was like, "Okay, fine." But um, yeah, talk about a uh, holy sh- sh- moment. I that was. Um, are we allowed to swear? We're not allowed yeah, to swear. You're allowed to. I will try not to swear. We'll keep, we're, we're baby faces here, so if we don't swear. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah that was a an experience and a half so just kind of walk you through that day so i had got we got an email probably what two weeks beforehand asking about extra work and typically especially with girls on extra work with wwe you don't really get used you're kind of there for a maybe if they need like a guest spot like a hairstylist yeah. or something like most most yeah. you see is like when the it's like guys doing security right? spots too yeah, yeah. And, the, and the rosebuds is they got killed off so it's totally done so they actually stopped using girls as extras for a while it's like the guys still do the security spots but girls kind of got they were done and then so i got that email and i was like okay um i thought it was weird that this time when they asked they're like oh by the way you have to get like this physical done and this blood work done and i thought that was weird and i was like oh you know probably just a new protocol or Mm -hmm. something and we get uh, so we get there and i'm and raylan's there too and they're like oh you're gonna have you're probably gonna have a match tonight and i'm like i'm thinking like me and her like what like a like a practice match before cameras were on didn't really think anything of it and then um, a couple of the refs are, are like, oh, you're excited, like, get my beat down. I'm like, what is everyone talking about? And then finally, they're like, yeah, Nia Jax is going to debut tonight. We're going to use you. You're going to wrestle Nia. And I'm like, what? So at first I'm like, oh, maybe maybe she needs to practice moves. Or maybe it's like a dark match or something. And then they're like, nope, match two, segment six, Brit, Brit versus Nia. And I'm like all right, bring in the swerved cameras. Like, what's happening here? Like, there's no way that I am going to wrestle Nia Jax on Monday Night Raw. And sure enough, in walks Nia. Hey, nice to meet you. And I'm like, oh, my God. So, yeah, I have I was shitting my pants. I was so nervous, <laughs> for lack of better words. I was like, because oh, this is her debut. Like, right. force of nature. And she, she was she, – she had – hadn't been on nxt long no like she's i mean she's done takeover matches and everything for the title and everything right? but still like she was it was it was kind of surprising she went up because she was she's only been around for like six months or so right right so. yeah and um she i mean the, the this was the i think the monday right after the brand split so this is like if she, this she's making her first ever raw match for her raw debut so the, you know that's a little that's some pressure mm-hmm. right there but um, and, and you're also the other women's match on the same night that I think Sasha won the belt from Charlotte. Yes, <laughs> yes. So we're, I got also I got to watch that backstage, which was awesome. Which 
you know, she's doing all these crazy dives, making everyone backstage hold their breath, you know, um, who was backstage there? They were all, all the, and all the workers, like, it's so awesome because they all sit and watch everyone's matches, which I think is so cool. And it's, they're like, <gasps> like gasping and, and popping for moves left and right too. And it's, mm-hmm. it's kind of cool to see everybody still. So it's just like those backstage scenes from Total Divas. We're okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cause like, you've, seen, you've seen them on there, right? Where it's like all the girls are, are gathered around watching the matches. Right. Yeah. And it's like that, but like yeah. a ton more. Yeah. So guys are watching, girls are watching and, Girls are stealing the show. <laughs> no, Absolutely, but, that no. Night. The Sasha, Sasha, Charlotte, Becky, and all those girls, phenomenal. I think mm-hmm. they're still in shows every night still. So certainly. So, uh, so, so you got the first, and again, it, it, it's been amazing because first we saw you, and then we saw uh, the Light of Doom just a couple weeks later. It was mm-hmm. the, you know, like we just talked about at the top of the show, and, and and again, like otherwise, I know Eamon's known a couple of the other girls that have been in there too. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's kind of an interesting trend and i know it's exciting for everybody that watches indies because we're like i know that person i know mm-hmm. that person i've seen that person you know mm-hmm. and 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 then there's that weird uh jameson guy with the weird jaw that they keep using and almost got a main event he on SmackDown. was <laughs> he was um at, he was at james ellsworth james. ellsworth yeah 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 it, he, it was the, on raw with you as yep, well with braun braun Strowman. man mm-hmm. i thought he was done i thought that was the end <laughs> that's the end of james ellsworth but yeah they he's you know he's a character so Mm-hmm. They'll, keep, they'll keep using them, I think. So I, I got to ask, uh, when 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 you get a spot like that, and I don't know, you were probably just too blown away at the time, but like, are you kind of like wondering, like, am I the next Colin Delaney? It crossed my mind. Mm-hmm. I'd be lying if I didn't. I love Colin. I just saw him this past weekend, actually. He's always at AW, but um, it, yeah, but no, I don't. I didn't really know what to think because, like I said, they don't like they don't have women's squash matches typically, or like women jobbers so it i it would the whole experience was just kind of weird and unusual and i didn't really know what to expect or what was gonna happen what was gonna come next or how people were gonna react and but my phone was blowing up by the end of the night i will say (laughs) that so (laughs) um from there uh, of course and and i know you know that 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 picture's been going around uh of you sitting there in the ring uh and that that that's awesome but uh you also popped up a couple weeks ago in ring of honor here mm-hmm. in pittsburgh uh in the and the uh women women of honor uh six girl tag at the beginning right um so is that your your first experience with them yep yeah they um asked me to do the show it was re- recently like that just that same week mm-hmm. and it was i was with kelly klein and veda i'm a big veda veda scott fan i love her Against it was Mandy Faye, who's a she's training at the dojo, and Faye and um who else was oh Crazy Mary, so yeah it was fun. Six mans get a little crazy, mm-hmm. but it was it was a it was a good experience. It's awesome. So so I again you've been around a bit. Um, other than Raw, uh, what's kind of been the craziest thing that you've experienced in your first uh, year of of, uh, of of being in the Indies? crazy um i just think the opportunities that i've had i mean aiw they spoil me rotten over there with just the matches the opponents the opportunities oh actually the jt lightning invitational tournament so like picture i walk in the locker room to the likes of you know billy gunn kurt hawkins or not kurt, what's his um brian myers mm-hmm. uh you know now, Swap, now, now kurt hawkins now again, kurt hawkins apparently. again yeah um you know, Ray Rowe, Cedric Alexander, and then I, and then there's me, and I'm like, I have no business being here, uh, but it was, it was awesome, it was, even just to watch those matches the whole weekend was so, it was amazing, it's an incredible environment to be around, you know, the fans were insane, so that, I think that was, just being a part of that whole, the, the tournament, the experience in general, and also we just had Johnny Gargano's farewell match, which that like hits uh, hits hard, but that was also something really cool to be a part of. We'll miss you, Johnny Bananas, in your flag tights in IWC. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, he's great. He's he's awesome, and they're out there training tonight too. And I miss them. I wish I was with them. Today's Candace's birthday too, so everyone go tweet Candace happy birthday. <laughs> Unfortunately, we won't be putting this out there. Uh, 
<laughs> Give her a night, belated birthday. Whenever this comes out, you know, just just look it up. Be like, so I just heard it was your birthday. Yeah. Just gonna get so confused. Um, <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, from there. So, what are you watching these days? What are you watching to uh, to, to kind of keep up with things? What's kind of got your attention these, anymore? So, as far as watching, I I've recently have been watching, kind of keeping up with. If I know I'm going to be wrestling so and so on the weekend, kind of find some matches of that person. Mm -hmm. But as far as keeping up with like NXT and Raw and SmackDown, it's hard now. I mean, I, and I'll be totally honest, I never used to watch SmackDown as much, and now I I, I want to watch it. But it's it's I feel I never watch it live because I'm I usually train. So I'm either in Pittsburgh or Cleveland training. So watching things live doesn't really happen very often. But even catching up, I feel like there's just no time because then you're I'm catching up here but getting behind on on this NXT show. So uh, I'm, I'm still watching everything. It's just behind. I'm mm -hmm. never not, – not really – you know, I got to check Twitter to see who has the belts first before I can actually see it myself. Oh, yeah, it's, it's getting tougher. All, just the, it, it's tough for us that aren't trying to train. <laughs> right, yeah. So – uh, but and such good stuff now too. Like it's all, all across the board. Right. It's it. There, there, there's good wrestling everywhere. You, it's not hard. You just have to turn on the TV. We talked about a lot of great things, um, but you know, we'll go with the standby question here. We like to end this with: What is the worst and best thing? The best and worst thing about uh, about indie wrestling. Man, that's hard. The best thing. I think just getting getting to know people and then seeing those people kind of progress. Um, so like John, like Johnny, I I, I like my heart. I get happy so hard when I think of uh, Candace and Johnny. I just get so happy because they're awesome people, awesome trainers. I can't say enough good things about them. But like Johnny, you know his farewell match and everything. That's just something. It's it's not my match. I have nothing to do with it. But it just makes you so happy because you get to know them. Because it's like. Indie wrestling, we're all a big happy family. And mm -hmm. and um Cedric, Alexander being on the cruiserweight mm -hmm. classic thing. Now that's I mean it's sad because it's like, oh we'll never see you in the locker room again. But hey, congrats. But then as far as the worst thing about indie wrestling, I don't know. The the road trips obviously suck. But as long as you're in good company, then I actually the road trips east suck. I don't mind going west. Like driving to Cleveland's fine, but as soon as you go to Philly, Jersey, that side, that half of the turnpike is just <laughs> junk. I hate it's so boring. You don't want to cross that border. No, because it's so there's nothing over there, and yeah. it's like you every time you hit a service plaza, you're like, yes. <laughs> that seems about right. Uh, uh, Western New York is kind of tough. I, I I I've discovered. Um, I well I most I think the last time I went, headed that way was over for the Monster Factory. Mm -hmm. Um, like Rochester, don't stuff up there. Oh no, I don't believe in that. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and we were, it was me, LaRusso and Darren De Niro, and we're driving to the monster factory and on the way home, and I'm going to put him on blast right now because this is so unsafe. We are driving home and I'm asleep, LaRusso asleep, Darren's driving and we wake up and he's live tweeting saying, Hey, bored on this drive home. Like he'd tweet at me and I wake up and go, I cut a heel promo on him. Like you are not going to kill us in this car. Put your phone down. Which, but so that just tells you a little bit how the road trips go. But you, sometimes they're really fun. Sometimes they get stressful like that. But I know any road trip is better. That Roman Reigns is scaring me so much. I keep looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just Roman Reigns over my, over my shoulder here. It's just, it's just Roman Reigns. Can we, no, we need to break. Can I come get him? You, you're going to come. I'm, Everybody, what I've been staring at this whole time. She just, she just, she just took Roman Reigns. No. Uh, say, get, get, just get over by the mic. Huh? So <laughs> yep, here's, I've go. had to look at this whole podcast. Like this. <laughs> just, just staring at you, judging you. Yeah, apparently. We're, we're gonna make sure we get a, a, a you with a picture with him. Uh, Me and afterwards, Roman. Just being buddies. He just stands there. He's just literally like right where the camera is. He's right there staring. <laughs> It's like those clowns. It's terrifying. So what is the best and scariest thing about being in the studio? Roman Reigns? Uh <laughs> yeah, Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is the best and the worst thing about being in the studio. Right there. Uh, from the, the <laughs> Facebook Live, we did have a question. Okay. Uh, we'll stand by, but uh, Ricky out there wants to ask, uh, what is your dream match? Ooh. We don't ask that question anymore, because I felt like that's like I what think, we... See, I... 
I honest to God can say that I my dream match I just wrestled not too long ago because it was Candice LeRae um, for the for the fact that when I I didn't I wasn't really as a kid I didn't know what indie wrestling was it was mm-hmm. kind of that was something I very recently got introduced to and when you Google indie wrestling female like Candice LeRae is it like she is the girl and you know she's she's I always tell people Candice LeRae is not only one of the best female wrestlers she's one of the best wrestlers period she's just kick ass and there's nothing she can do. She's, she's flawless to me. But, um, so a year later, here we are. And not only is Candace one of my trainers, but then I actually have to have a match with her. So that was, that was cool. But as far as dream match in the future, Hmm. I would say I would, I mean, you know, Sasha Banks would be odd. any 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 of the 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 you know women's revolution girls. Mm-hmm. But then um, there's some girls still on the Indies that I would love to have matches with. Like uh, there's uh, Heidi Lovelace. I love her. Even Veda. I love Veda too. She's nuts and crazy, and she can talk anybody into a hole. Because with on her mic skills are phenomenal. I'd love to wrestle her. Just she's so fun. Um, who else? I would love to wrestle Andrew Palace because I love him. I just, I just love him. He's perfect too. He's another flawless one. Hey, they they have opened the door in IWC to intergender matches with you. They you, have. You were, you were almost reloaded. you were almost the IWC tag team champion. I hey, don't, <laughs> almost for now. I'm coming back for that. Hey, that sense. was fun. That was that. I you know that reloaded show. That was really fun. Mm-hmm. That was a good time because um. Yeah, that was me. It was McC- me and McChesney versus the fraternity for the tag team titles. We almost, we almost won them. But I think in the future, and I'm, I hope Justin Plummer's listening. I encourage him to use some more intergender matches, just because it's fun, it's entertaining, mm-hmm. and you can get like really good matches out of it. As long as you don't insult the fans' intelligence, you can have really good intergender matches. Mm-hmm. Awesome. And I've, I, I know. I mean. <laughs> just with Alex Daniels alone, I feel like so, it's so. Wait, let's talk about Alex Daniels for a second. Just because at IWC, he is like this uber baby face. Mm-hmm. AIW, he is this psycho serial killer heel. So I always wondered about that because he, he comes out the very interesting music. Yeah, it's so scary. And and, and when I hear that song now, I get anxiety because when I was when I feuded or when I wrestled with him, it like that song. It would just make me so nervous because I was like, oh just like match nerves and yeah. now when i hear that song i associate that with and, being and like he, so terrified he came out in royal valley with with gone girl on his on his tights which yeah. is the yeah. movie about the guy that he killed his wore, wife yeah he yeah and then they got people chanting gone girl for well, some he reason he had those tights the, the the first night of the jt lightning tournament when i wrestled him mm-hmm. he had the gone girl tights on i don't know why he still wears those i like figure it out but um yeah and that that was kind of my first taste of like one-on-one intergender wrestling and it's it's awesome. It was so fun. I had a great time with him. He's he's an amazing worker. He's you know he's newer too, and he just beat Johnny Gargano in his mm-hmm. farewell match. And Johnny had nothing but good things to say about him in his farewell speech. Had a uh, tremendous match with Ray Rowe, I think, at that Wipeout yeah, show that in July. Yeah, that was awesome. He yeah. did. Yeah, I forgot about that. That was a really good match. Mm-hmm. Available at indywrestling.us, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Plug. All right. Uh, anything else you want to go out on? Well, where can people find you? What's coming up? I guess generally, what's coming up with you? Because we don't really know when we're releasing this right now. Um, things that are coming up. You know, I'm always at IWC, always at AIW. Uh, Remix Pro Wrestling for the first time coming up here. Um, other than that, oh, the 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 rise, the Shimmer Rise seminar in chicago we'll be there when is that november 10th which apparently Tregar will be Tregar. out there for that so we'll see you there Tregar. he gets around he gets around on the indie shows oh <laughs> wow. does he that's dirty no <laughs> just kidding no Tregar. we love Tregar. great guy but yeah other than that um you know things i know i'm booked i'm booked solid just kind of the same places around here cleveland pittsburgh chicago for a hot second <laughs> but other than that no I, I don't have anything else to say awesome uh at real brit baker on the twitter yes and instagram and facebook is it facebook facebook's sticky right now because i have too many friend requests i 
I got to add them, but it's like you Facebook's weird because it only lets you have so many friends, right? Which I'm against because well, why you, can you only have so you, many friends in life? Oh, is this a this is a friends page because you have a you have a separate thing, right? I don't, but people get creative and make their own things oh, for you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it might be fan page time for you. I don't know. Yeah, I don't have a fan page right now. So if there's one, it's not created by me. <laughs> but you can follow it. I'll follow it. I should go follow it too. Like, I've probably mistakenly tagged it several times in these posts. Oh, okay. So, no, that's fine. So hopefully, I got the right one on the Facebook tonight. This is you with the WWE ring, right? Where? I wouldn't uh, look at it. This one right here. I look right. Yeah, that's me. Okay, that's me. So look for uh, currently look for her with the uh, the picture of her in the WWE. Andrew ring. Palace just texted me and said he wants me to start doing spots on Sorg's show. <laughs> See, this is why I love him. This is why I want to wrestle him. Well, pull pull Ray- Roman Reigns over. Yeah. And no, uh, we can't because I'm the baby face, so I can't do a heel turn. Well, let's just but, pretend that he finally took made his heel turn. No, we can't. No, we're baby faces here. No heel turns. But, um, sorry, this is, you have so much stuff in here. Okay, I'm going to use this. <laughs> we also have he, him here. Some Scott Steiner. And Roddy Piper cup filled with candy canes, because why wouldn't you have that? This, you know, this is a, this is like an I Spy book. This, this entire, this entire podcast room is an I Spy book. <laughs> Britt Baker, thank you so much for joining us Absolutely. And, and, and playing with our toys uh, here in the studio. Say bye to Roman Reigns, everybody. Show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.